one? Um, <laughs> I'm Roxanne, and I have this channel that you might remember because I've been off the grid a little bit. I haven't posted on YouTube in a year. I don't know why. Uh, I mean, what even was 2020? You know, it is now February, January 21st, and I um, want just to start. That was in the sentence. I wanted to start posting again because uh, my life has been all which way and now I'm finally settled with a new situation and I wanted to get back on this because I really did enjoy posting for couponing and just posting our lives here. Um, if you do remember me or my channel or my family, I did couponing. My channel was called Real Life with Roxy for a while and then I think I just changed it to my first and last name. Uh, I just like that look better. Um, so either you were subscribed to me to follow me for my couponing, probably, and uh, noticed I hadn't posted for a while and I was being a loser, so you either unsubscribed or you're still subscribed, but I'm just like the bottom of the barrel, like you didn't even know I existed anymore, which honestly, same, like I, I would do the same thing. Thank you for sticking around. Um, hello again, welcome back if you forgot who I was and you were just like, I remember that one girl who had like pink hair sometimes and like she had a couponing and like her child was always like running around doing crazy things. Like, oh, I wonder whatever happened to her. Anyways, so um, so let's just catch you up here. I was living in Missouri. I was living very close to my family, my mom and dad and sisters and their kids. And I loved that lived there for three years with my husband and our child Leo but we just need a little change of pace uh, I'm still together with my husband that sounded like I was gonna set up for like a divorce unfortunately we're still together <laughs> and we decided to move back to where we first lived when we were married when we first got married uh, back, uh, back to Utah I know, like, I love Utah, but like, ooh, there's some, there's some connotations there. Anyways, um, we moved here to, basically, I live in my, in my in-law's basement. <laughs> but like, on paper, it looks kind of depressing. Um, but in the real life, it, I live in this, you know, we're sharing this big house. It's in a nice neighborhood, it's a beautiful place. And we moved here to just get a change of pace. I was trying to apply for like a little part-time job to keep me out of the house and to just like make some friends. That's really what all it was. And I applied for all these jobs for like eight months and no one would call me back. Like literally no one would call me back. So I worked for my former employee that was um, employing my younger sister at the time. I worked there in high school. It's like a cleaning business. We just clean people's houses and mansions and office buildings and apartments. I worked one day a week there and then I watched my sister's kids one day a week. So I just wanted something out of the house where I could like put my makeup on and just talk to customers or something. And because of COVID, sister, sister 19, she wasn't allowing this to happen. You know, the economy wasn't allowing that to happen, which is fine, I get it. So we decided to move to Utah to live next to my, with my in-laws and my and Daniel's, my husband Daniel's family, because we needed to save money on rent because we have a goal I'm gonna tell you about in a minute. And then we needed just a change of pace to be by their family for a little bit. And, cause my son is three, Leo, and he doesn't really know his these grandparents very well just with like you know the once or twice a year visits so i think this was a good decision for that and our goal in the next couple of years is to live abroad in japan because my husband lived there for a couple years on his lds mission and loved the people there and the culture and the language and the food but we want to he wants to teach 
at a university there. He's going to school right now. Ooh, I don't want to see my messy room. Uh, he wants to teach at a university with his degree and I want to just see what else I can do there. Uh, I'm practicing the language with him right now. I'm trying to get better at that so I can, you know, maybe have my own job there as well. But the main goal there is to move there and live there for a couple years because that's a place I've always wanted to go and he loves it. And I am pretty much just sick of America right now and I wanted to do something more than just get married, have a kid, buy a house, and stay in the same house for like 25 years. That's just not my, my dream. If that's your dream, go for it, boo. Like, do your thing, but make sure you want to do it and that um, that's something that you're going to enjoy. I don't like that idea, just for my personality and my opinions. These pigtails look freaking stupid. Whatever. Because if I'm sure you know, I always mention it, but I lived in China for about six, seven months with my husband and we were doing a volunteer teaching program and it was amazing. It was like the best time of my life. I loved being in a different country where there's different foods and cultures and, and smells and people and transportation and it's just a different life and I felt like it was easier there because I couldn't understand what a lot of people were saying. My husband was a lot better at the language. And I liked that. I didn't care what people were saying. Like, I didn't care. I mean, we're young. And I wanted to do something before, you know, we did something so permanent that we couldn't leave. We have our one child, but I really don't want any more than that for now. Maybe in like 10 years, I don't know. So I think it's a good time for us to do it. And if you think it's a good idea and you support me, I would love to hear about that too. If you don't. I'm gonna do it anyway. Um, so that's why I'm here. I moved across the country. This is my new room. <laughs> and um, we love it so far. It's been great. We get a lot more room to play. There's a fenced in, almost fenced in backyard where Leo likes to play. There's lots of parks. And um, that, that's really all we can do because we are still abiding by the virus regulations that's another thing my family and I have been very safe and fortunate through these horrid times of 2020 um, we didn't get sick no one in my immediate family got sick we followed all the rules and you know I, I'm very fortunate to have have a husband who was still able to work even though it was awful having to send him off to work every day, knowing that he could come back with something nasty and give it to us. Um, so I was very fortunate to just be able to be a stay-at-home mom and think of activities to do there without being afraid of going homeless. Um, my mom was a big help too. We were renters of her apartment. And you know, obviously she wasn't going to raise the rent or anything, so that was very great. I had a great um, privilege and opportunity of just surviving in 2020. Um, so that's what our year was like. You know, everyone has their year of ups and downs, different things, but I think we we're all affected with Corona, obviously. Okay, I don't know if I can say that. With Sister 19, obviously, and um, wow, what a year. Now, anyway, for the plan for this channel in the future i started couponing again since we lived here because i was a lot closer to a walgreens a cvs a dollar general fam and i also have family dollar now which is awesome they have really good deals there on saturdays too so i'm going to start picking up couponing is that something that you guys still want to see or still want to view on my channel i will do um, in-store couponing again with the documents and with the step-by-step -step on how to do it, I still have my videos all up. I didn't delete any videos or anything. So you can still look, look at those for practice. But I'm still willing to do Dollar General and maybe sometimes CVS if I can get to it. It's like a 10, 15 minute drive through all these stoplights. But like, that's a lot closer than it used to be. And I am very excited. Went there last week and I think that really lit a fire under me because I forgot how fun it was and how much you can get for so little 
um, I miss that feeling. So please stay here. I will be, <laughs> I'm Becky. <laughs> anyway, that's the plan for my future. That's where I am right now with my life. I'm very happy right now. All of 2020 was just a shithole and I hated it. I had good times with my family, but a lot of the things that came with Corona were obviously so stressful because of the, you know, the, the sickness issues and the germs and the, and the regulations and the money and, you know, everything was so scary and just stressful on anyone, let alone like a marriage or, you know, a, a parent. So I really hope you guys are doing okay too. Like, let me know how you're doing. Um, in my OGs of the channel. I really want to hear from you guys. I miss you guys. I'm sorry. Girl, girl just had a, a mental breakdown the entirety of 2020. Like after the Chiefs won the Super Bowl, it was like, like we're done. <laughs> we're cashing out. <laughs> so, um, yeah. So just expect more videos from me and also, I'm on TikTok. I post all the time. I'm kind of funny and I love that I can post there in shorter amounts. So I might do like mini couponing scenarios in here on TikTok and then do like the longer version if you need more practice to go through every single detailed step on my YouTube channel. But I'll do a little mini version on TikTok so you can just save the video even uh, on 60 seconds. Also, follow me on Instagram. That's it. I'm not anything else. <laughs> so thank you guys for watching. We stuck through this video. I miss you guys. Hope you're doing all all doing well with Corona, Sister 19. And I will see you hopefully soon. I'm gonna do some planning for a couponing video at um, Dollar General, Family Dollar, CVS. We'll see what's going on. And um, I hate the way I'm just babbling on. Anyway, I'm gonna stop now. Okay. Well, thank you. Sorry, I was gone for so long. Please subscribe. Stay subscribed. Okay. <laughs> Bye.